about this so on this video we're gonna talk about sticks and stones not really sticks and stones that you use for building fire or helping others with stones whatever but this is different this is about drawing but why is it so important and why do we need it well to draw the body structure perfectly and easy to make the limbs or arms and legs an easier, an easier way to add decorations to your drawings instead of using pencil. And what to use before doing that? We need, we have, we need colored pencils, light ones. For example, we need a light blue colored pencil or a red colored pencil. I use most of them for my drawing. But whatever you do, don't use yellow because it might make the drawing a little hard for other people to see. Start with very light strokes so they will be easily covered by your pencil later. Then start using sticks to form the limbs and the arms and legs. Start using stones for the head and where the joints should be placed, like such as the elbow, shoulders, and the knees. Use basic shapes like triangles for the foot. When you can see a stick figure, start adding some body, like the skin of the character, so it won't be like a skeleton. Then add some details like how the prince is gonna look for the ball, with his shoulder pads, or how he's gonna how a princess like Cinderella or any other Disney princess you wanna draw. With their gowns, their dresses, add some bows and crowns. How they're all gonna look like depends on you, but make light strokes first. And remember, sketch as dirty as you can. It doesn't count on how you draw it, but at least use light strokes and as dirty as you can. You don't need to erase it. At least you can use a pencil. I mean, you can't really erase it because it might take a while for you to get into it. But it may look bad for starters at first, but it will get used to it. Now I want to invite you on this video to watch my speed draw while I sing my doodle voice and sit back, relax, and grab your snacks and see you on that video. Bye! There was a time when I was alone, nowhere to go and no place to call home. My only friend was the man in the moon And even sometimes he would go away too Then one night as I closed my eyes I saw a shadow flying high He came to me with the sweetest smile Told me he wanted to talk for a while He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely and ever since that day. I'm a lost boy from Neverland, usually hang out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on a run from Captain Hook. Run, run, lost boy. They say to me, away from all of reality, never lands home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Never lands home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, Darling, even Captain Hook, you are my perfect storybook. Never let I love you so, you are not my home sweet home forever, a lost boy at last. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, Darling, even Captain Hook, you are my perfect storybook. Never let I love you so, you are not my home sweet home forever, a lost boy at last. And for always, I will say, I 
I'm a lost boy from Neverland. Usually hang out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods. Always on a run from Captain Hook. Run, run, lost boy. They say to me, away from all of reality. Never lands home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Never lands home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. there you have it i hope you enjoyed this youtube video for today and i hope you also learned a thing or two about how to use sticks and stones properly be sure to like my channel and subscribe and i hope you have a wonderful day of sketching bye